Disclaimer, this video is for educational purpose only. All our videos have been made using our own systems, servers and websites. It does not contain any illegal activities. We are not responsible for any misuse of the provided information. The surface web is the portion of the internet that is easily traceable and indexed by search engines. Only 4% of the internet is covered by the surface web, the rest is made up of the dark web and other forms. Look at this picture and you will understand how many area of internet they have covered. Today in this video we are going to install Tor browser and access the dark web. First we will discuss about the deep web and dark web. Deep web, the deep web refers to all parts of the internet that are not indexed by search engines. This includes things like private databases, password protected websites, unlinked content, and other resources that are not easily accessible to the general public. Examples include subscription websites, academic databases, private intranets, and other similar resources. The deep web is not inherently illegal or nefarious. It simply refers to content that is not easily searchable or accessible through regular means. Dark web. The dark web is a small portion of the deep web that is intentionally hidden and requires special software, configurations, or authorization to access. It is often associated with illegal activities due to its anonymity and lack of oversight. The dark web is accessed using specialized software such as Tor, the Onion routers, which routes internet traffic through a series of encrypted connections to conceal a user's identity and location. On the dark web, users can find illicit marketplaces, forums, and other hidden services that may engage in activities such as illegal drug trafficking, weapon sales, hacking services, and more. However, it's important to note that not all activity on the dark web is illegal. It also provides a platform for whistleblowers, journalists, and individuals in repressive regimes to communicate anonymously and access information without fear of censorship or surveillance. What is Tor Browser? The Tor Browser is a web browser specifically designed to enable anonymous communication and browsing on the Internet. It is based on the Tor Network, which stands for the Onion Router. The Tor Browser works by routing your Internet traffic through a series of encrypted connections, bouncing it through a volunteer-run network of servers around the world. This process obscures your IP address and makes it extremely difficult for anyone to trace your online activities back to you. The name Onion Router comes from the layers of encryption used to anonymize data as it passes through each server in the network. Tor Browser is often used by individuals who wish to maintain their privacy online. It is available in different operating systems like Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android. However, it's important to note that while Tor provides strong anonymity, it does not guarantee complete anonymity and untraceable, users should still exercise caution and follow best practices for online privacy and security. Important advice to note that using a VPN before connecting to the Tor network, can add an extra layer of encryption to their internet traffic before it enters the Tor network. This means that even if someone were able to compromise one of the entry points to the Tor network, they would only see encrypted data coming from the VPN server, not the user's original IP address or the content of their internet traffic. Additionally, using a VPN can help to hide the fact that a user is accessing the Tor network, which could help to avoid censorship or surveillance measures implemented by certain entities. However, it's important to choose a reputable VPN provider that does not log user activity and has a strong privacy policy. There are such a great VPN out there like NordVPN, ProtonVPN, Surfshark, or ExpressVPN and many others. In this video we are demonstrate on Kali Linux which is widely used for penetration testing. Let's open up Kali Linux and install Tor Browser, when it loads up, we are going to open the terminal and type the following commands. This command is used to update the package index files on the system, which contain information about available packages and their versions. It downloads the most recent package information from the sources. When we are done with the update process now we are going to install Tor Browser. Type this command in terminal this will install the Tor service and Tor browser launcher including signature verification. When we are done with installation, we are going to install Tor browser. Now we are going to type this command. It will take some time to download Tor browser in your Kali Linux. After downloading complete Tor browser will launch automatically. Now we have successfully installed Tor browser it is running now. It will first ask you to connect to Tor giving you a certain amount of anonymity by routing your internet through the Tor network. Now, click on connect. Now our Tor browser is establishing connection to Tor network by redirecting web traffic through a series of different routers known as nodes. 
Now our Tor browser is running let's try to find some dark websites link for this we are going to use hidden wiki websites which have a huge amount of links of dark web, websites. Now we are going to type this URL to access hidden wiki website. The hidden wiki is a term often used to refer to a collection of websites and resources that are hosted on the dark web and accessible through specialized software like Tor. It serves as a directory or index of various dark websites, providing links to a wide range of content and services, including forums, marketplaces, and information repositories. Now click on any indexed link, ending with .onion and it will redirect you to the dark web page. Here we are proceeding to the hidden wiki dark web link. As you can see in the search bar, we are now redirected to the hidden wiki dark web pages. Now we are accessing the dark web. Using the dark web requires extreme caution due to the potential risks associated with illegal activities, malware, scams, and exposure to explicit content. Users should be aware that accessing illicit marketplaces, forums, or services could lead to legal consequences, identity theft, or financial loss. Additionally, it's crucial to prioritize anonymity, use reputable encryption tools like Tor, and refrain from sharing personal information or engaging in risky transactions to mitigate these risks. Thanks for watching this video, please subscribe to our channel a click is really helpful us to bring great content for you. See you in the next one.